welcome everybody breaking news sad news rock and roll hall of famer of the rascals the young rascals dino Danelli passed away at the age of 78 and that's all coming in right now and here is little steven when he inducted the rascals in the hall of fame right here the first time i saw the rascals with the keyport roller drone in keyport new jersey that's right no, there was no Fillmore's, there was no arenas in those days. Rock and roll played skating rinks where it belonged. <laughs> and the way rock is selling, we may back, be back in skating rinks next year, I don't know, but... They were fantastic in those days, they were wild. Eddie would jump around, he was a wild man. He was with the tambourines and maracas and... And Gene was so cool with the guitar up there, you know, he was just fantastic. And, and Dino, I, with all due respect to all my drummer friends, and most of my friends are drummers, uh, he was the greatest rock drummer ever. Is, is. He really was the, the greatest rock drummer. And if you're tuning in right now, rock drummer Dino, Dino Danelli has passed away at the young age of 78 years old. And this was just 58 minutes ago that I found out. And uh, just sharing the news with you, if you're a fan of the Rascals, as I am, music of the 60s, hit makers, Rock Roll Hall of Fame inductees. He passed away Thursday, December 15th in New York City at the age of 78. The announcement confirming his passing was first made on the band's official Facebook page and followed up <coughs> by a statement from the band's former guitarist, Gene Cornish. Uh, Dino, Jersey City, New Jersey native. He kept the beat behind the drums for the band's entire nine album run and uh, had been called one of the great unappreciated rock drummers in history. I, I mean, he is one of the best out there. You think about a guy like him, think about the guys like Ringo Starr. Well, he's up there with Ringo. And if you're tuning in now, I appreciate you all being here. Debbie, always good to see you. But um, if you're a fan of music of the 60s, please put your comments down below and tell us the songs that you love and the music you love, and if you have favorite Rascal songs, put it down below. But he was a great drummer, and you think about his haircut, and he was wild behind the kid, but he was a rock and roller. Let's listen to little Steven introduce them. It was really cool the way he did. Listen to that. He also gained fame a few years later by being the last individual in the music business to go to the Beatle haircut. He kept his hair back. <laughs> and uh, they hate him. The English are always got to hate Stevie Winwood, but uh, in New Jersey, they hated Felix. And I tell you, the greatest show I've ever seen. And, uh, you know, uh, okay, it was also the first show I've ever seen. But since then, I've seen everybody. I saw the Beatles at Shea. I saw the Rolling Stones with Brian Jones. Uh, the Who with Keith Moon. Rod Stewart with, uh, with Jeff Beck. Uh, Siegfried with Roy. I've seen everybody since then. <laughs> and that show holds up. Fantastic. With all due respect, I, I, the, the Righteous Brothers, we love the Righteous Brothers. They're fantastic. You know, to the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, and it's about time, the Rascals. Here they are again, one of the hottest new groups in the country today, the Young Rascals. Ladies and gentlemen, the Young Rascals. One, two, three, four. Well, Oh, man, that is the music that we all grew up with, and you got to love it, man. And it's people like Dino that makes the memories of our lives. It's the soundtrack. It's the music to our lives, the soundtrack. It's touching. When you lose these artists, and I keep saying that all the time, it's like losing a family member. It really is. It really is one of those things. It's like losing a family member. But when you think about all the great music and everything they've done, here's Dino talking right here. So Felix and I, we sign on, we go to Vegas. As Sandu Scott and her Scotties. And if you didn't already guess, we're wearing kilts and sporns. The whole Scottish nine. 
It was truly embarrassing, especially for a couple of young paisans. But the good thing was when she made costume changes, Felix and I got a chance to play a song together. And what a trip it was, the first time I got to hear him sing. Great drummer, great music. Thank you for the music. I'm not sure of how he passed away. If you want to know, um, we'll keep you posted with all that. But he reunited with his bandmates, the Rascals. They appeared uh Capitol Theater, Port Chester for six shows, December 2012 for 15 dates at the Richard Rogers Theater. Well, everybody, I appreciate you guys all being here. And what's it to say? Um, these legends are passing away. This channel's here. It's dedicated to keep the rock and roll alive, the stories alive, the memories alive. So when I get a chance to interview artists like Felix Cavallari, who we had on the show, and unfortunately, I never got the chance to talk to Dino, um, but it is my goal to try to get in touch with all these legends, the, the music that we love. I mean, I love hearing the stories from the people that were there. And I don't like saying the stories about people who were not there. I wish Dino was here right now today that I could chat with him and share his story with you, but he's not. But the one thing that does is here today is the vinyl that's behind me right there, the Rascals. I have it. And if you have it, turn it on your stereo, put it on, listen to songs. Like, how can I be sure you better run the cover of Mustang Sally? The music goes on and on. Thank you for the good music. And you know what? Our condolence to his family, to the fans, to the band members. It's a big loss in rock and roll. I've been lonely too long. A lot of you youngsters have been asking for the young rascals. He's grooving as the number one on the chart. So here they are. Life would be Oh man, there's nothing like that music. Nothing like that will ever be. It's the best out there. Well, you could still catch acts like the Rascals. Felix has been out there playing with Gene. And um, this is sad news if you're tuning in. Drummer, Rascals, Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Dino Danelli has passed away at the young age of 78, 78 years old. In these times, that is young. But you know what? If you could go on YouTube, look at some interviews and listen to his music. You can even tell from his drumming. He played from the heart. He spoke from the heart. The Rascals wrote, our beloved Dino passed away today. I will say more in the near future about his incredible talent and sheer experience from his life. He relayed to me as well as ones we spent as friends. And that's on the Rascals instagram page you could look at that it's on the facebook page on gene's page gene cornish wrote that he ended the message to his friend and former colleague rest in peace dino i love you brother well dino we love you and we love rock and roll and thank you for giving us the good music that you do did and that you did bring us grooving debbie says over here how can i be sure one of the favorites i agree one of the favorites well, I'm Stefan. I'll keep you posted. Thank you, Debbie, for being here. Thank you, everybody else, for watching. And if it is your first time here, please subscribe and hit the bell to be reminded so you don't miss any other breaking news. Let's get more people in the chat. And if you want to be a part of the chat, subscribe to the channel. And we'd love to hear your feedback and your comments. And also, please tell us what your favorite Rascal song is. And have you seen the Rascals live? Have you seen Dino play in concert? Fabulous drummer. He's up there with Ringo, everybody. Thank you, Debbie, for being here. Mwah. All righty. Until then, everybody, I'm Stefan. You guys are all beautiful. The holidays are approaching. 
And it's things like this that make you really think about life. These moments, losing loved ones. So go out there. And if there's somebody you haven't spoken to and that you loved and you have a grudge with, you know what? End it and just let them know you love them and you're thinking about them, whether it was a bandmate, whether it was a former person that was close to your heart. Okay? It's short out there. So make it good. Let's make the new year a good year. All right, everybody. I love you. I know I just rambled off, but it's just this stuff, stuff I grew up with. This is the music my mother would listen to cleaning the house when I was a kid, grooving. I remember. And those songs would give us such great memories. It was such an honor to have Felix on my show and talk to me about his story. And you can find that interview. I'll make sure above here, I'll put a link to click on it. Check out our playlist of all these great interviews. Tomorrow morning, I have the legendary former Guns N' Roses manager, Alan Niven. He's going to talk about his relationship with Guns N' Roses. You're not going to want to miss that. It's going to be in a couple of different parts. I'll be airing that. But uh, until then, everybody, thanks for being here. And thanks for being a supporter of the channel. It's only rock and roll, and we like it. Until then, who loves you, baby? I do.